up, BTN? My name is Mitchell. My name is Trek. We are from Funny Grove State School and we are wondering why do people sleep? Please answer my question. Thank you. Matt, I was asleep. You know you're supposed to knock. What are you doing? BTN Investigates. I'm the investigator. Mitchell and Troy would like to know why we sleep. Hey, where'd you get the magnifying glass from? Nowhere. I like your jacket. Matt, I haven't got time for this. I've got investigating to do. We've done this before. Sleeping. We spend about one third of our lives doing it. But besides the odd memory of a dream here or there, most of us are in the dark about what actually happens after we close our eyes. One thing you might already know is that we need sleep like we need food and water. Sorry, Amelia, I just can't sleep with you watching me. It's, it's just really weird. But Carl, if you don't sleep, you might die. Studies show that animals which are deprived of sleep for a long time can have seizures and can actually die from exhaustion. In theory, the same goes for humans. In fact, sleep is so important that humans and other animals actually risk danger to do it. When we're asleep, we're almost completely unaware of our surroundings. That isn't such a problem now, but a long, long time ago, we could have been attacked by wild animals. Even now, sleeping animals are more likely to be attacked by predators. That's why some animals, like dolphins, have found clever ways to do it. They only sleep with one half of their brain at a time. That means they can still come up for air and swim along using only the half of their brain that's still awake. But we can't all be dolphins, so I've decided to see if a real sleep investigator can shed some light on the mysteries of human sleep. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, thanks so much for talking to us today. No so Charlotte, why do we sleep? Well, there's actually not really a clear, simple answer I can give you about that, sorry. Oh, really? Oh, oh well. Sorry, Mitchell and Troy, but I guess some questions just can't be answered. Well, hang on, hang on. There oh. are some things that we do know about sleep. Oh. A lot of people thought that sleep is something where our bodies aren't doing anything and it's almost like we're unconscious during the night. But now we know that there's a lot that our brain does when we're asleep and it's really busy working through a lot of things so that we're prepared for the next day. One idea is that our brain uses a bit of shut-eye to recharge parts of it that are constantly working. Like this area called the prefrontal cortex. It helps us plan and make decisions. But even when we're super relaxed, it doesn't stop. Like, have you ever tried thinking about nothing? You end up thinking about thinking about nothing, right? So some experts reckon sleep is the only time this part can restart. Our brains seem to also be busy cleaning out old stuff, making space for new stuff, and sorting through memories as we sleep. So there's a lot that we take in during the day. When we're at school, we're learning different things, we're seeing different things, and during the night, our theory is that our brain is sorting through all of that information and going through and working out what's important, and then it stores that information as memories, so then when we wake up, we can remember what we've learnt the day before. It is proven that people who don't get enough sleep struggle to learn new information, whereas a good night's sleep can help us be more creative and solve problems. So even though scientists don't know exactly why we sleep yet, it's a good bet that it has a lot to do with the stuff going on inside our heads. Oh, Matt, you're still here. Yeah. Huh. Since when did you have an office? <laughs> Investigator. <laughs>